Hi, this is Sandy Joe, and um, I was asked to make a tutorial or a lesson here. So this is lesson number three on WinPC Sign 2010 or FunTime or any of the FunTime programs or Fairy Cut. And this is how we vectorize in these programs. I've got a JPEG of a bicycle up here that is a, a blue bicycle. The pink line is just a, a piece of junk here that I'll end up deleting out when I'm all done, but it just came with the JPEG. So I've got a bicycle here and I want to vectorize it. So over on your right hand side under local clip art, all the way down, come down um, to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, auto vector, click on that and you have your vectorization um, chart that comes up over here on the left hand side. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to um, go ahead, actually you know what, let's just go ahead and duplicate um, this image here first. Let's put two up here so I can show you two different things. So I'm going to go back over to my auto vector vectorization tab, click on that and then um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to vectorize. I just clicked on this magic wand and I have my bezler tool up here clicked and I'm just going to touch the bike and it shows here how it can look afterwards and it will stay in the blue. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to um, vectorize that and let that go ahead and, and do its thing and here I went ahead and, and vectorize it. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that box for now, hit my select button so I can get out of there and delete my extra boxes that come with it. Um, when I did the vex vectorization at that point I can go ahead and get rid of that extra line. I'm going to push this out of the way because that's our original JPEG and on this bicycle when it comes to me it comes with a black outline as well around the blue. It's kind of hard to see but it's on my screen so I want to get rid of that. So come over to your left hand side and under your color palette um, you have the B here is for your brush and your P is for your pin mark. And there's always a fine pin mark around some of the things that we first get vectorized if we don't click this. Um, I want you to go ahead and click click it twice and when you do that you're taking off the pin mark that is black that is around any image that you have and then you're ready to go ahead and stone it. So that is that's one way of doing it and keeping it in an in color way. I'm going to show you another way here and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to marquee this and I'm going to set this over here just a little bit and the second way of doing this is come back over to your auto vector vectorization button, hit that and then there's a palette of colors here. I want to take the color out of this. So I click that and I have a wheel and I come over and I click on that wheel and um, this is my intensity screen. So it's, I'm going to take it to a black line which I feel with a colored vectorization from a JPEG you're going to end up with a better EPS or better vector file to do some stoning with. So I get it into a black line file. So I have my um, low setting here at 128, my high setting at 255 and my channel is on grayscale. So I hit OK and when I do that it turned this image automatically um, black so it's not blue anymore. So we turn that black and then I come over to the um, the wand on the left hand side to vectorize it from my black line and you can see that that actually vectorizes it so much faster than the other way of vectorizing it. It did not bring the boxes with it that I had to delete around the boxes either. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, select this line and get that out of there. And this is um, actually that's just a JPEG still so I'm just going to push that out of our way because we don't really need that. That was just taking it into black line. Um, now I've got my images nice and ready to um, be stoned so I'm going to go ahead and just blow them up a little bit here and let's go ahead and stone them and I'll actually bring them closer together and we'll just stone them both at the same time so you can kind of do a little comparison to see how you feel you know they stone whether it's in the blue line or whether it's in the black line. Um, so let's go ahead and pick our stones. We'll go with a 3 millimeter, a 10 SS. We go up three sizes to a 13 SS. Give it extra room to get in out. Um, erase my original and I'm doing an outside outline so I'm not clicking my fill button. So I just click that and let it go ahead and it's vectorized or it's um, stoned and you can both see they came both both pretty good, you know, um, it's just whether you choose to get your black line or your color going. So this again is Sandy Joe, and if you have any questions about um, any of the, the EPS or vectorization, really get a good EPS before you start and that will give you a good clean design um, to work with when you're trying to um, you know, go ahead and, and get all this stuff vectorized out and, and uh, get everything going.